Good morning, everyone. It's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. I'm here with this lovely lady, Hello. Casey Wise. <laughs> Casey's been a trainer for almost 14 years. That's yeah. crazy. That's a long time. It is a long you time. You must really like people. I love it. It's been a great time. <laughs> 14 years. Awesome. Can't believe it. I know. That's good. Well, obviously, she knows something. She knows how to work out. She knows how to work out in park. Actually, that's what I was enticed by some of her Instagram posts. If you um, want to follow her on Instagram, I'll just post it right here. What's your handle? Uh, Wise Coaching. She's so wise. That just so wise. that just makes you just feel like connected already. Anyway, follow her on Instagram because she posts a lot of fun videos that um, give you ideas of things to do out in the wilderness. Absolutely, <laughs> like literally in the wilderness. So we're here at a park. We're at a beach this morning. It's probably going to be lots of lucky lose, which is fine. We don't we don't care. What do we care? We we work yeah. out for a living, so we got to just be used to that. Anyway, we're at a bench. We've got a bench. She's going to show us a bunch of different exercises that you can do. If you're at a beach, at a park, on vacation, you don't have equipment, maybe you're just at um, your kid's school, you drop them off, you want to do a little workout, this is going to be the workout for you. All right, let's get started. All right, Casey's gonna start us off with some stretches. So find a bench and lead us on, girly. All right, so we're gonna start with a basic hamstring stretch. All right, heel up. We're gonna hinge forward slightly, slightly from the hips and just lean into it. Excellent. Yeah, when you're doing, uh, like if you got a bench, you're probably gonna be doing some step ups. So this is a good one just to lengthen through that hamstring muscle there. Absolutely. Excellent. Keep All right, good. the next one, Go into the adductor. Okay, good. Just and again, hinge into it, pointing that toe up. Excellent. You have a nice stretch going into the inner thigh. Yeah, I find like if I ever have people do um, side to side lunges and they haven't warmed this muscle up here, you can't walk the next day. No. Yeah, you're very no. sore the next day. So you're holding these stretches for how long? You know what? 20 seconds, 15, 20 seconds. If you're feeling really tight, you can just hang out here a little bit longer. Okay. And what's next? Well, let's get into the back. Okay. Let's actually just lean away from the bench, shifting those hips back. Good. And I like to think about setting up as if I was doing a squat, just by plugging the ball of the foot and getting those knees out so I can get more into the hips as well. Excellent. All right, and then from here, I like to take it to low back stretch. All right, good, good. So really important to keep that core engaged and place the shoulders on the back and just pull the chest through. Kind of like a cobra on the ground for Absolutely. yoga. Not much of a yoga person, as my people know, but uh, this is a good stretch just to get that all warmed yeah, up so there. Good. All right, so that's your warm up. Make sure you do that on each side. Take a few seconds just to stretch that out for 20 seconds a side and then continue with this program. All right, we're starting our workout. Here we go. We're going to start with some push-ups. Casey's going to show us how to do a bit of a modified version and then a more difficult. You're going to do 10 of these. All right. So with just the hands outside of the shoulders, about six inches, taking the feet behind you with the core engaged, and we're going to activate the glute. We're going to slowly lower down, bringing the sternum towards the bench. And we're going to push up. Big exhale, pushing up. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to be doing that, and now she's going to show us how to do a more difficult version. So if you want a little extra, this is what you do. All right, this one's going to burn. So taking right down to the bottom of the bench, same technique. Engage the core, hands just uh, six inches outside of the shoulders. We're going to go for a push-up and tap the top of the bench. Restabilize. Tap. All right, awesome. We're gonna start this. We're gonna do 10 each. She's gonna do the hard one. I'm gonna do the modified <laughs> because right. I'm leading this show. Here we go. So 10, two, three. Nice flat body. Keep your core totally engaged here. Good, that's halfway. Seven. Oh, it burns. <laughs> Not me, I'm actually having fun here. Eight. Nine, one more here, and ten. All right, that actually looks really hard. Oh, I'm gonna have good. to try that one. Okay, what do you got next? Woo. Well, I say let's tap into those legs. All right, let's even do some out legs. the body. Good. Um, what do you got? Well, uh, just a basic squat on the bench for those who are beginners. Okay. And then if you want to kick it up a notch, 
challenge your, oh, I'm out of breath. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Those push-ups are good. It happens. Challenge your core, your ankle stabilizes, and open up the hip. We can do a single leg squat. Okay. Opening the hip. Perfect. Okay, what do we do? All right, so the basic squat, we're gonna just shift the hips back. So starting with our toes very slightly angled out, we're gonna engage the core, pull the shoulders back, shift the hips back, tap the bench with our sits bones, and thrust the hips forward. Again, as accessing the glutes. So just repeating. Now some people are more natural to place their fingers out. All right. So if that makes it easier for you to keep those shoulders back, you can do so, or you can just cross your hands on your shoulders. All right. Good, now, how do we make this? All right, difficult? let's take it up a notch. Good. So single leg, I love this. If you've mastered the squat and you, you like to uh, add a little bit of extra challenge to the uh, variety. Yeah, I saw you do this at the gym the other day. I One never of my tried this. Favorites. So I love it. All right, what do we do? So very important when we're doing this that we plug the ball of the foot and trek that knee out slightly so we can use that hip good. to That's assist us. Now we're going to feel a nice hip uh, opening in the hip here on this opposite leg. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to shift the hips back, keeping the chest open, shoulders back. We're going to lower down and Ooh. drive back up. Uh, that's you hard. may feel a little bit wobbly. That's okay. Just keep your eyes forward. Ooh, we're gonna go for tennis side. We are right now. We are. <laughs> All right, moving into step ups. Now you can make yep. this easy or difficult. Casey's gonna show us both ways. All right, All right. What, what would be an easy way to do a step up well, on a bench? Just the basic step up. Okay. Even though it's easy, it's still challenging yeah. if you access all the proper muscle groups, or right. the proper technique. So we're gonna make sure for a step up that we plug the ball of the foot and slightly trek that knee out when we're stepping up so we can use that hip. So the straight spine, we're just gonna drive up. So if this is even a bit of a challenge, you can just tap your toe once you get up. Right. Right? Good, so you do 10 per side like that. All right, how do we make this more difficult? All right, so we're going to add to it. So we'll start with our step up, and we'll step back into a lunge. Okay, all right. Yeah. Up, and reverse, nice. So now you're kind of getting a two for one here. Doing a reverse lunge and a step up, that is going to jack the heart rate up for sure. Good. Anything else we can do with this? Do you have one other way to make a step up more challenging? Well, if you're brave, if you feel like doing a, some explosive little jumps at the top, well, yeah. not little jumps, but yeah. some explosiveness to your, your drive and your step up, we can add the drive. Little the jump hop. there. Doesn't even have to be much. Just a teeny tiny hop and that is gonna jack your heart rate up. Become a little fat burning for you as well as muscle building. Okay, <laughs> giving the legs a break. That, that's hard. I mean, that is work on the heart for sure. Absolutely. So now you're moving to a little bit of, a little bit of shoulder, a little bit of core. Tell us what we're doing next. So we're going to take our side flank up a notch nice. using the bench. So there's a few intensities that we can move through on this one. Okay. So if you're a beginner, just start with this first one or then you can get up enough. That's right. Okay, so side plank, feet are together, Let's and then just, just resting there. So that's, okay. that's stage one. You want to kick this up a bit, you add a little pulse. Is yep. that what you're yeah. going to drop the hips? Nice. Pump up. We want to make sure that those hips stay stacked as well as the shoulders. Yeah. So making sure no rolling forward. That's excellent. See how she's all aligned there? That's perfect. All right, say you want to take this up a notch. Well, What's the next step? We can lift the leg as well as the arm. Yeah, that <laughs> looks hard. <laughs> I feel like tipping her over like that right now. <laughs> there you go. She stayed, she stayed, that's amazing. Okay, so just holding that. Yeah. And how long would you hold that per side? Uh, minimum, I'd say 20 seconds, 30 seconds, listening okay. to your body. Yeah. If you're losing form and technique, just drop it down to a more beginner level and Good. add more time. Yeah, perfect. All right, awesome. No one likes a flabby yes. arm back here. That's what we're working on right now. So we got a little tricep dip. So why don't you show us uh, some of the ways that we can elevate this into more difficult and our beginner way as well. All right, so beginner way, we're just gonna get ourselves set up, the hips nice and close to the bench, the shoulders roll back, the core engaged. This already just seeing this position feels to be a bit of a challenge. Bring your feet in, just slightly past the knees. Step down. If you find that that's too easy, we can extend the legs out. If that's still too easy, we can stack our heels. Stack over it the toes. like it's hot. See right. how that works? I just feel like making her do 10 in this position right now because it's so difficult like this. This is harder than it looks. All right, that's a great way to do a tricep dip. 
All right, everyone loves a Bulgarian split squat. That's something you can easily do on the bench. But we'll show you two ways to do that. One that's a little easier and one that kicks it up a notch. All, All right. right. So we're gonna get the foot up on the bench. We'll get that uh, front foot stepped out so that the heel is in alignment with the knee rather than the toe in alignment with the knee. So we'll get out nice and wide, get the shoulders back, core engaged. We're going to lower down, bending both knees at a 95 degree angle, and we'll drive up. Okay. So keeping that core nice and tight. Yeah, so I mean, this works so much. You're getting glutes, you're getting a little bit of quad, a little bit of calf, a little bit of core, lots going on here. All right, how do we make this more difficult? All right, so if you want to take it up a notch, you've got that form and technique on, just add a little hop. Oh, yeah. start down at the bottom, hold for a split second, drive up. This is killer. I don't love these on any level of love, but nope. they do what they're supposed hey. to. <laughs> I love what they do for my leg. I love what they do. Excellent. Okay, one more, Casey. All right. Boom. So, that's good. Oh. Okay. Hey, Casey was just saying, you want to add a little cardio. You want to add a little fun. You've got your bench here. Add some shuffles. I don't know what she means by that. I'm just going to watch her do it. So go ahead and shuffle your little your little booty around All this right. bench here, girl. So what I love to do is just get myself into a loaded position for my lateral lunges and I'm actually just going to around the bench. We want to make sure we even it out around the opposite direction. Just don't hit the bench like I did. <laughs> okay, I'm really making this girl work hard. She's already out of breath, but we've got one more exercise for you. So the traditional plank and she's got a number of ways to kick this up that is just nuts. Okay, but here is your modified version. All right, so we will start with just the basic. Plank on the bench, dropping the hips down, shoulders back, core engaged, legs activated. If this is not challenging enough, what do you got? We can turn around. <laughs> we'll drop the hands on the grass. See, this is hard. On the bench. This is hard. Yes. So once we're here and we find that we need a little bit more movement, we drop or tuck that knee in towards the elbow to get a little glute activation. Yeah, so what would you do, like 10 per side and then switch legs? 10 per side, absolutely. 10 per side and then switch. Wow, yeah, that is not easy. I can see a little bit of shimmer going on oh, in her muscles yeah. there, just holding her body up, so already we know it's work. Oh. All right, awesome, thank you, Casey. Thank you. So, that, 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 what a great little beach park vacation workout. All you need is a bench. I would say probably do each exercise maybe three rounds. If you're a beginner, just start absolutely. with one round of everything. Otherwise, three rounds of it all. It's all listed below. I've got the whole workout written down there. Again, don't forget to follow Casey on Instagram. She's over there at Wise Coaching, and you'll be sure to want to follow her over there. As always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition, and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.